Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 91 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about action mailer in Rails. So first, let me explain that what are action mailers and then we will discuss that why we need them. So action mailers allow you to send emails from your application using mailer classes and views. Okay, so just like uh, service just like serving the request we have controller classes and just like perform crud operations we have model classes and the migrations and to rendering the uh, data on the browser we have views so similarly we have mailer classes and their respective views to send emails and this is how action mailer works and what this is the facility that action mailer allows you okay now we need to understand that what kind of events uh, are can be possible in our application and when we need to use our mailer classes to send email so sending email is a way of notifying to users of your system or users into your system at certain events and these events can be like for example sending a welcome email after registration okay so by this point you can consider that in real world you might have seen so many web apps which sends a welcome email once a user sign up first time on their site now the next condition could be like uh, sending confirmation email before allowing users to access their system okay some applications requires you to sign up on their applications and then after sign up the application sent you a confirmation email and before accessing their features just to verify that you have entered a valid email address okay for example if you are working uh, if you are trying to access an application or you are creating your account there then for example the application might wants to confirm that you cannot enter wrong email just like uh, name at the rate xyz.com because syntactically it is a valid email but uh, practically it is not a valid email okay so application just allow you to be an authentic user and a, with a valid email address okay now third example could be like uh, weekly updates when you subscribe an applications newsletter okay so some sites like blogging sites e-commerce sites and so on can ask you to subscribe their newsletter to get regular updates about what is going on their system and when you subscribe their newsletter you will get updates into your inbox weekly or at a regular interval okay and another similar example is like github okay so when you create a, your account on github it asks you that if you want to receive updates about github projects changes and so on so if you select yes then on every update from github it will send you an email and whenever you create a new github pr and it is going to be merged into some base branch then you will definitely get uh, email from github okay so these are just some example of real world events of an application where the application need to send emails and for that purpose you must have idea about how to send emails from your application and the application action mailer module provides this facility to you okay now it's time to understand how the action mailer works okay so action mailer works just like views and controllers okay we already know that a controller has some actions and those actions are associated to respective view templates and similarly a mailer is also a file like controller which can have various actions and each action is associated with some view template okay the difference between a mailer and controller is that a controller action must be mapped to some route to get invoked and it is not necessary for all controller actions to have a view template associated with it okay for example you do not need a view template for a pass post or patch request in action controller or you do not requires a template for delete action unless it is a javascript request for example if you are creating your records or updating your records or deleting your records using ajax then you might need some template like js.tr or js.slim or some js templates but if you are uh, creating updating or deleting your records using pure html request then you never require templates for this okay on the other hand mailer actions does not require routing to get invoked and every mailer action must have a view template for it okay uh, here i mean that if you created a mailer action okay and you do not need to map this mailer action into some route or you do not need to create an entry inside the routes.rb for that mailer action 
you just need the mailer action and a view template for it and then you can invoke this mailer action from anywhere in your application like from your views from your controllers from your models or from your jobs or service classes however the format of the template can be anything like it could be text dot text dot erb or html dot erb okay i mean it can be an html or a plain text file and just like controllers a mailer can also utilize partials or layout let me show you how we can do this using so here you can see that just like controllers we have a directory inside our app directory which is mailers okay and just like controllers we have uh, application controller in mailers we have application mailer okay and all other mailers or all other custom mailers which you create manually or by generator will be inherited from this application mailer okay and here you can see that inside the views layouts just go to that you can see that there is a application dot html dot erb layout and there is a mailer dot html dot erb and here you can see that inside the application dot application mailer we are rendering the layout mailer okay and this is the layout so all the mailer actions use this template as layout by default and you can render partials inside the mailer as well okay and when we create our first mailer in, into the next lecture we will create our mailer classes inside this mailer directory and we will create actions for uh, sorry view template for those mailer class actions inside these views so just like you can see that we have a welcome controller and we have a welcome directory so we will add a, for example a welcome mailer inside the mailers directory and here we will create a new directory which will be mail, welcome mailer and that will contains all the directories uh, all the view file re related to actions defined inside the welcome mailer okay so this is a very basic introduction of action mailer in rails in the next lecture we will implement a mailer and send email from our rails app okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe